welcome back to my channel and I don't have anything else to say for the intro. <laughs> um, I had a lot of requests to do more try on hauls and I haven't been shopping a lot lately um, just because I've been in and out so much and because it's like the fall and so I've been shopping a lot for my house and for the kids and stuff like that so um, I have gotten some packages though so I thought why not? I can show you guys some of the things that I've gotten. I did not buy any of this stuff. Um, but the first set of stuff I'm going to show you is from Gwen E.B. But I thought I would just try it out and show you guys so that you can get a feel for the sizing in case you were thinking of ordering from any of them. And I actually used some of it to do an outfit of the day, which I filmed two days ago. And I will put it up like tomorrow or something. It might be up already. Just check the link down below. It'll be on my blog so you can actually see me wearing the outfits and everything. Okay, let's dive right in. The first thing I'm going to show you is actually um, a bra. So it's not that exciting, but it is a strapless bra. It is padded, but it doesn't have like added padding. I'm not going to try this on for you guys. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's your basic padded bra. It has four hooks in the back and this is actually from Hips and Curves. I needed a really supportive, perfect, oh, made with love. This is a size 40C. I needed a bra that was really going to work. I have never in my life had a strapless bra that didn't utterly suck. This is the very first one. It's amazing. It stays up perfectly. It has like the grip inside and the back to keep it up. I don't have to adjust it. It fits really nice. I have um, boobs that are uh, they're a little bit on the smaller side considering the rest of the size of my body. Um, so I'm a huge fan. It does come with straps, but the whole purpose of me buying this particular bra was because I needed a strapless bra. So it's amazing. The best strapless bra I have ever, 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 ever worn. And now I gotta buy some. I gotta buy some more. I gotta buy like all the other colors. But um, it does have a bunch of like hooks in the back so you could definitely adjust up to about two inches I would say. the the band size but just can't say enough positive stuff about that and I could go on all day so let's move on to the next thing. Okay next up I have some stuff from Gwenny B which um, I've mentioned Gwenny B a few times already. They are a subscription service so you can decide how many like articles of clothes you want to have at once. It really reminds me of Netflix like back in the day when in Netflix you used to decide like oh I want one movie at a time or I want four at a time and then you could put stuff like in the queue and then when you send one back they'd send one you know you know what I'm talking about you remember? Okay and you can do it as many times as you want that's pretty much what Gwenny B is so um, you can you know say you opt for the three garments a month uh, option you'll pay that price every single month which if you guys want to try Gwenny B for a 30 day free trial you can click the link down below and you'll be able to do that kind of get a feel for it see if it's for you um, but you say you select the three garments then you get three and then you want to keep two of them and you want to send one back, maybe it didn't fit right, or maybe you wore it really quickly or whatever, send that back, they'll send you another one, send them all back, whatever. They always give you like a postage, so they come to the bag. These did not, and I'll tell you why. <laughs> but it comes with the bag so you can toss it in there and it's really easy to send back. So um, anyway, like I said, if you want to try it out, you can click that down below. But Gwenny B had an event here about two weeks ago in Chicago, and they invited me out and I did a photo shoot. And I tried on a bunch of the new stuff that they have and that they're putting up right now. And um, then they had like a cocktail hour and it was fun. I got to meet some uh, subscribers and stuff there. And so that was pretty fun. But while I was there, they let me choose my items like actually in person, which was nice. So um, I didn't have these sent to me this time, but I did bring them home and I will be sending them back to Gwenny Bee. So um, I wanted to try on some jackets and stuff and I didn't actually try them on while I was there, which I should have, right? But I didn't because it was just, it was a long day. And um, I love the stuff that I wore in the photo shoot. So whenever that's live, I'm not sure if the photo shoots are up yet, but when they are, I'll put a link down below or I'll let you guys know or something so you can check it out and see what I wore. Um, let me see, but let's get into these clothes. So this is from City Chic. This is a jacket. I got it in a size medium. I really like that it's cropped and the, uh, the wrist has a little stretch going on there. So it's, you know, a nice little fitted jacket and I like the detailing on it. And then it does have these two little things hanging at the bottom so that you can make the top, rather you can make the bottom tighter or looser. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then I picked up a dress that is from, I think it's called Taylor. Yeah, and this is in a size 12W. So, my phone's ringing. So, 
I don't know who that is. Sorry, I had to make sure it wasn't uh, the preschool calling. So um, anyway, I thought this was a really pretty dress and just to give you guys the idea of sizing here, um, I would say that's the only thing that is a little bit difficult with Gwenny B is because you're not, you're not buying or renting Gwenny B brand clothes for the most part. I believe they do have house brands though. Um, but you are doing all these other different brands and so you have to get an idea of what size you would wear for everything. So that is a great reason to watch hauls like this so that you guys can find out what fits, what doesn't fit, and get an idea of sizing because I am typically a size 16, 18, um, so you'll get a feel for what size you might need to order if you want to try these clothes. So this is a kimono from City Chic. Um, I thought this was really cute. I'm super into kimonos right now just because they're so comfortable. And this one had really nice detail. It has like this crocheted looking stuff. And then it's really super long and it has a little bit of lime green which I thought was nice. And then this Muppet jacket. I keep calling it the Muppet jacket because tell me I don't look like a Muppet when I have this jacket on. So this is by LV and it's in a size 22, which is because um, I believe these are UK sizes. And is that right? Are they UK size? I think it's a UK brand. So um, the sizing is a little bit different. And if you're gonna order any of the LV bottoms, most definitely size up a couple of times um, because otherwise you're gonna be like, what? Did I gain 50 pounds? Like, no you did not. It's just different sizing. So I thought it was a cute jacket though. I thought it'd really go um, great with like a black top, maybe some dark jeans and like high heeled black boots. I could really see that coming together and being a nice little Muppet outfit. And then I also got this other jacket which everything's on hangers. Don't I look put together now? Like I put everything on a hanger. Ah! I put it all in my closet so it wouldn't get uh, wrinkled before I did this video. Um, so this is from City Chic as well. Also in a size medium, which you know, if you're familiar with City Chic sizing, they have, uh, I believe it's extra small, small, medium, large, extra large. I'm tripping. But they do have like sizes like that. Of course they correlate with different, you know, with 16, 18, 20, what have you. So this has a um, zipper across the center of the jacket, but don't be fooled, it does not unzip. <laughs> Um, it's kind of just there for show and it does have shoulder pads in it and I do like the crop of it like the not the crop but the the cut I like how like nice the lines are in this jacket so I just thought it'd be a fun jacket to try out and see what I could do you know as far as an outfit goes now that's all I got from Gwenny B um, and let's move on to Charlotte Russe so if you guys follow my blog, you know that I post something for Charlotte Russe every month. I do work with Charlotte Russe, this ain't all, you know, it's not a secret or anything. <laughs> so I post stuff for them every month and I rarely ever show you guys what I get. In fact, I don't think I ever show you guys what I get from Charlotte Russe, but I do have a ton of their clothes. And if you read the blog, you'll know that I cannot stop raving about their jeans. I think it's the Refuge brand. Refuge? Refugee? Ref no, Refuge. Refuge. It's their Refuge brand. They are so nice. Like once you know your size, because Charlotte Russe is a junior plus brand, so you'll likely be a bigger size than you would in a straight size plus brand store. Um, once you know your size, like those jeans, uh, I seriously, I probably have like 12 pairs of jeans from them and I'm just obsessed with them. I'm in love, I'm in love, I'm in love. So I do, um, a blog post with them at least once a month so I do always have new stuff coming in from Charlotte Russe but since I do the blog post I never include it in a haul but I realize not all you guys go to my blog so I should probably tell you about it in a haul. So these are the two new pairs of jeans that I got from them but one is just a basic blue jean and um, oh and I, I didn't mention but I'll put all the prices for everything down below or I'll put it on the screen or something because I don't have them all offhand. But I did wear these two pairs of pants for the um, outfit of the day shoot two days ago. So I wore them for about 20 minutes, which is unfortunately a lot. Um, a lot of the clothes that I have only get to be worn for a short amount of time because there are just not enough days in the year for me to wear all of the jeans. But both of those jeans I got in a size 20 because like I said, it's a junior plus brand so I have to size up. But they fit amazingly well, they are high rise, they have amazing stretch, they keep it together all day long. I'm just in love, I'm in love with them. I also got this bag from Charlotte Russe which is just like a really chill laid back kind of like faux suede bag with a braided, um, handle and then it's just got a big zipper on it. I just thought it was really cute and like chill and just whatever. <laughs> I just, I really like that bag. And then I got a sweater 
and um, I mean it's sweater weather right now, you know, you know, you know who else has really nice sweaters right now is Fashion of Figure, and they sent me some sweaters and jackets, and I would have showed them to you in you know in this haul, but um, they didn't fit, so I gave them all to my mom <laughs> because I have a problem with sweaters and jackets and stuff not fitting me on this particular arm because it's about an inch and a half bigger than this arm and I would say this arm is a 1x like my whole top and everything is pretty much a 1x but this arm is a 2x and if I buy a 2x it's too big for my body so it's kind of hard but um, anyway they do have some really nice sweaters and stuff so if you're interested or if you're on the east coast I would check them out. So this is a size 2X from Charlotte Russe. Like I said, you would want to size up. Just a super ridiculously comfortable cardigan. And I just love the neutral colors. Ugh, I love it. I love it. And they look so pretty with the outfit that I put it together with, which included this very pretty top, which I also got, I want to say, in a 2X. I don't see the size, but I assume I got it in a 2X. I love the top of this shirt. Like, I like that it has a little bit going on. I also like this sort of burnt orange color. I guess that's how I would just, yeah, it's definitely like a light burnt orange. It's very pretty, very like dainty, flowy top. I'm a big fan. I love that Charlotte Russe has super affordable prices. Um, even when, you know, a sweater might be listed for like 40 bucks, but they always have sales. Always, 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 always. They always have sales and they're pretty good sales. So you can definitely get stuff on a discount. And then I also got this other wrap sweater, which I'm so into wrap sweaters right now. They're just, they're so lovely because it's completely like open in the front and free and do whatever you want to do. And then the back is like nice and drapey. You could always wear like a nice chunky, thick like leather belt and that way you would kind of create your waist again so you don't get like swallowed up and lost inside of the sweater. So anyway, I just thought I would show you that stuff because I thought it was really cute. And if you want to see it actually on me in an outfit, you can check it out on my blog. Now we can move on to Living Doll LA. It has been a long time since I've shown you guys anything from Living Doll, probably well over a year. Um, but my friend recently did a lookbook with them, which was so cute. So my friend Ashley did it. I'll link it down below. I shot it for her. I mean, it looked good. But she did edit and put everything together, so that was all her. But, um, she looked awesome in her clothes, and then, um, Living Doll and I were like, hey, we should collab. And so they sent me some stuff. I'm under no obligation to show any of it to you, so, um, I thought I would just show it to you because I thought it was so cute. And you guys know that the 70s, like, trends are super in style right now, and I just can't. I can't. Like, it is so hard for me. As a fashion blogger, you have to incorporate these things because, um, if you do work with a brand or something, then they usually ask that, hey, can you maybe showcase some of our, um, you know, our flare jeans or perhaps our uh, fringe this or that or whatever. And it's, it's fun because it's a challenge for me to incorporate these things and still maintain my personal style. So um, with Living Doll, they also have a ton of like 70s boho kind of stuff. And that's just totally not my style. But I managed to go through and I picked some stuff out that I thought was so cute and that would work for anybody, whether you're going for the 70s vibe or you're you're not I think it's just cute and like really nice and fits well and it's just a good quality across the board so if you haven't heard of Living Doll LA um, they have a plus brand and they have straight sizes and it's very trendy very California I mean it's very LA it's very pretty stuff and um, I'll put the link down below if I can find the links for this stuff but anyway let's get into it so <laughs> this is a size 2x but this is a really cute little dress which can be worn with like leggings or um, jeans or I guess if you're I guess maybe a dress I guess we'll see I haven't tried that one on yet so I don't know how long it is but definitely with some boots maybe a little jacket like I could see that being super cute and then I also got this shirt which is in a size 1x I love living doll shirts I really do just I don't know what it is I love the way they fit they kind of just hang loosely from the body but but they also kind of like give you a really pretty like silhouette. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I just know that I love it. So again, I'll put the um, prices and stuff across the screen or down below somewhere. And then this skirt, my friend actually wore this in her outfit of the day. And I was like, I'm going to need that in my size. Please, thank you very much. So I got this skirt. Oh, I got it in a 1X. And it's just this pretty little flowy skirt, which of course on my body is not going to be flowy. <laughs> um, it's going to be a little bit more fitted, but it's a really pretty army green color, which you'll notice that um, all of these clothes are very like neutral earth tones, like 
these um, greens and then these sort of light tan colors. It's all very, very neutral stuff. So I really like that, especially for fall because I like to sort of uh, transition into like browns and stuff more so in the fall. And then in the winter, I'm like black. Like I like black, I like black on black on black. I just, <sighs> that's just the mood I have in the winter. I'm just mad. So black and maroon. Um, but anyway, then I also got this shirt, which is so cute. It's a high-low. And it has like this design on the front, but then on the inside of the back, so you can see it when you know you're looking at it, it actually has this whole like poem written inside of it. It's just a cute little high low, and I like that it covers up the booty because sometimes when you're wearing leggings and stuff, like you know, I don't like to show my chonchons to the world. So anyway, they also have this super, super pretty jacket, which I love. It's definitely got like that military vibe to it. Um, it's a flowy army green jacket, very cute. The buttons are silver and it's just very drapey and nice. I got this in a size 1X. And then this I actually wore to the Gwetty Bee event. So I think I posted a photo of it on my Instagram. So if you're interested in how this looks with an outfit, I guess, I did wear this uh, to that event. And this is also in a size 1X. It's super duper stretchy. You can't really see it the way I'm holding it here, but um, it's super stretchy. I cuffed the sleeve. I kind of pushed it up a little bit. It's just so cute. I wore it with a white crop top and high waist jeans and some boots and go. Go. I look like such an adult. Like I look like I had a fashion sense and I was like, oh, that's right. I'm a fashion blogger, you guys. Get with it. And the last thing that I have to show you is another shirt from Living Dial, which is in a size 1X again. And this one kind of threw me for a loop because it's it's long. It's definitely like a tunic style shirt. Um, but on the, on the, where was I looking? When I saw the photos of the model wearing this shirt, she was wearing it as a dress in one of them. Um, so it was like the shirt and maybe like a jacket or a vest or something and then some boots and I was like, oh, that's so cute. Like I could get with that. But then I looked at it and I'm like, it is not that long, girlfriend. Like I hope you have some shorts, some boy shorts on or something under that. I don't know. But um, anyway, that's it for this haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see next. I am going to be filming the bookcase tour along with my book club at the same time because that just makes sense to me. So um, I'm going to film that and I think that's all I have to say for now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up if you did. And oh, and of course, if you want to check out Gwenny B, feel free to click down below. There'll be a link for a 30 day free trial. So uh, that's definitely all I have to say now. So I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Have a fabulous day. Bye.